Good evening. I'd like to open the Deerfield Planning Board meeting, August 6, 2018, at 6 o'clock here at the Town Hall. The meeting is open to the public. The agenda for tonight is to review minutes of previous meetings, to review mail, to take some public comment on things that are not on tonight's agenda, to act on a uh, ANR, the redivision of a property at Hoosick and Stillwater Roads, to act on an updated special permit application form. And then at 7 o'clock, we will open a public hearing. And the public hearing has been continued as a continuation from July 2nd on a proposed retail establishment at the corner of Mill Village and Greenfield Roads. The project proposes the development of the property through the construction of a 9,318 square foot Dollar General retail store with associated site improvements, including driveways, parking areas, utilities, stormwater infrastructure, and landscaping. The plans will be reviewed pursuant to the following regulations. That's first, the zoning bylaw, section 5400, uh, 5400, site plan review. Also, the zoning bylaw, section 3120, reduction in parking requirement by special permit. And also, the stormwater regulations for the town of Deerfield. After that, we'll take on any new business. After that, any business not reasonably anticipated 48 hours prior to the posting of this meeting, then we'll set a date for the next meeting and then hopefully we'll adjourn. So just to, just to let everybody know that for the next hour, 55 minutes, we're going to be doing some planning board, um, some administrative things, looking at A&R, acting on a special permit, and then in, not until 7 o'clock, we, we can't open the public hearing on the um, Mill Village Road uh, proposed development until 7 o'clock. So I just want to make that clear. In case anybody's here just for that, you got till 7 o'clock. So planning board members, anything else for the agenda? Does that sound okay? Sounds, Sounds fine good. to me. So minutes from previous meetings, we have... Everybody reading? June 4th meeting, minutes, and July 2nd. So can we look over July, uh, June 4th first? What do we think about the June 4th meeting? That's yeah, good. I move that we approve the minutes of June 4th, 2018. A second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Oppose? Abstain? I think we were all there. So. Yep. Six zero zero. No. That's Six it. zero zero. Yeah. All right, July 2nd meeting. There's a couple of typos there I can on which yeah. one? Paul on the uh, first one. On the first one? Yeah. Yeah. Just one. Just two little ones. I'll make those notes and we'll just give them to you. Oh cherry, cherry, yeah. There's an eye there. Mm. Pat Smith. Capital S. Okay. All right. Put that. John, put that in the stuff to go back to Pat, or who, I mean to uh, Priscilla. Um.
Um, so this is the June, the July second meeting. Yeah. yeah, there's a. I, I I made a mistake here on the at the end. Instead of six, it should be seven o'clock on the at the uh, second page, second side. You mean next regular meeting? I'm sorry. The next regular meeting, that one? No, the one before that. Yeah, it should be six. It's six o'clock now. Yeah, but that's the public hearing, and that's not till seven. I didn't. I didn't realize. Oh, that. I see. I, I, see. I, yeah, I yeah, thought yeah, it yeah. was. I thought we had said six. That's right. No, we had said seven. You're right. Okay, so that should be seven. Yeah, oh. that's a good point. I have a question too. And at one point, I said, "How will the store affect the housing of the neighborhood?" You mean housing prices, right? I mean, the, what do you mean housing? That's. I'm not sure if. I yeah. So I, I think. I think you're right Third there. Moment, yeah. Moment. Yeah. House affect the, the housing values. The, uh, values, yeah, values that better word. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, and then on the, when we have public comment, we have comment from the town departments, isn't that part, is that part of our record or what? How does that, John? It is, it's public. Uh, and so it's part of the record. So do you need to? Um, yeah, and I wasn't sure about the letters that people wrote as well. Um, yeah. You know, I tried to summarize what that's, I had that's there. That's a good point. So and, and not break it out. In other words, if if there were six people that said something, I just yeah. made it one time. I don't know. I think you've done a valiant yeah, job of putting a, a lot of this consolidating it. Um, but I'm just wondering if you actually need to um, record what the town departments said. So we don't usually do that, and those um, that commentary is available. Is it? Isn't it part of the? So that way you don't have to synthesize it. You can just leave it to the departments yeah. to re okay, represent that's themselves. Okay, fine by me. I just, we discussed does it that, at the meeting, so um, I just... Does uh, that make sense? Yeah, because this is not exactly what they said. Exactly. It's better to have exactly what exactly. they said. Exactly. So okay. All right, so, so just refer to their comments yeah. that are in the record. So you want to just change, take that section out and yeah. say refer just to Just so the folks know, the, uh, the we're reviewing the minutes of the July 2nd meeting, which was the first one when we uh, had an overview of the proposed... Retail store out on Mill Village Road, and so we just want to make sure we get those minutes uh, this was the, properly this was summarized. This was the second meeting, though, John. It was this the, was the, the recent and restarted one. Right, right. so it was the real okay. first yeah. public hearing. So I would, at the end... Um, And then, and then on, I wasn't quite sure, John, on the end here with the peer review needs. This is what we talked about, but this isn't necessarily um, normal peer review stuff. You know what I mean? Well, I think we need to record our vote that we, the, the uh, planning board voted to hire our, a peer review, yeah. third party peer review uh, firm. So that should go actually go down. That should be in the minutes. Uh, did we do that, though? We, we, we did do I think that. We were, I think we were going to um, pick one for this before this meeting, a peer review person. Well, I, I'm sorry. We, we voted to put out an RFQ, uh, request for quotes. Okay. And we selected four or five. I didn't have that in my minutes, so I didn't know. We selected four or five um, okay. engineering companies to, to request quotes from. We went over this list of uh, peer okay. review engineering consultants. So that should certainly be in the minutes. Um, I wonder, can we do that tonight, uh, John, or do we have to, because I don't have any records of done, doing that at our meeting, unless somebody else has some ideas of what we did and what the vote was, I don't have that. I think we decided, I also don't know if we voted, but we decided because it's our, it's the, it's our procedure basically to do that. So we decided so to it's our next step. request for quotes, but tonight we can if you want to formalize up. it. And but I think it, just yeah. put in the minutes that we we agreed to to, uh, to get a higher a peer review. In these minutes here? Put them in the minutes for the Ju okay. July 2nd meeting because we definitely right. did it during that time. And it was at that point agreed that, uh, well, that then the right chair after, would uh, follow Right up. in here, I'll yeah. add that into here. Yeah, yep. I think that's... Okay. That's perfect. Right above that, and you could say these are some of the things the that, peer we, review, that right. we wanted the peer review to review, the following topics. The board decided... to uh, put out RF, RFQs, is it? Request for quotes. Yeah, quotes 
or peer review. Okay. All right, I will, um, I'll retype that page then. And I just put, see the, um, what do we call those documents? The, the uh, um, comments from boards? Comments from, Com uh, see the documents uh, of comments from boards. Boards and departments. You don't have the folder on this, do you? No. Interesting. It's not in there? No. Is it under there? Or is that yours? That's mine. Okay. And that is the other question. Do we, are the letters, they? The letters should be attached, but I understand they have them, so. Right, okay. Um, With I the didn't. With the town and board reports or yeah. feedback sh comments. So is there anything on the first side that we need to change? I just, the square footage is different than what's in the document. It's 9318. Oh, this is what they Couple said minutes. at the meeting. Oh, I'm you sorry. Really, yeah? Or did they I say got it several times, different minutes. If it's oh, actually yeah. different, then it's, we can change it. I mean, that's what it says in the document. Oh, okay. And their their proposed their, uh, their application. Their application. Okay, right. so it's ninety three. What? Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Plus or minus. Plus or minus. Well, yeah, it's more it's, or less. I mean, that's it says that's it one of those things. Too. It's, it's, oh, does it? Okay. It says right. it everywhere. So that's what I thought. Okay. And then here's just the typos up here. But I, I felicitate Otherwise, you on your uh, your consolidation of the I concerns. Know. That's it's a, a lot of work. Yeah. Any other comments about the July 2nd minutes? Do we have a I propose motion that we accept to approve with the changes we discussed? With, with changes that we've discussed, I make a motion that we approve the minutes as presented. I'll, se now, I'll as second the motion. Changes. Discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? 600 again. Okay, just put it. Thank you, Paul, for getting us okay. all that. Yeah. Bravo. Okay. Would you mind uh, checking the mail and we can. Uh... So, this is the time when the planning board uh, has people. Uh, make any public comments they want on things that are not on the agenda. If you have a quick question or comment about something um, that's not on the agenda tonight, this would be the time to do so. Can I hold the chair? Sure. <laughs> Actually, this uh, speaker is on, too, if you want. But that's, that's fine. But this is fine. That's fine. This is a brief time to talk. Okay. I know, but I have a question. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Just remind us, tell us, yes, and the I cameras who you are. Will. And we have a sign-in sheet. Did we do the sign-in sheet? Oh, I not did yet. not see the sign-in sheet. Hi. Hi. My name is Tolly Stark, and I live on Keats Road. Um, my first question was, um, I was wondering why the public hearing was canceled on the website, but then you've announced it on the agenda. So it says, on the town website, um, planning board announcement. The planning board is meeting tonight, but the Dollar General hearing will be continued to a later date. So I just want to clarify for folks. Right. So it's not canceled. It's, it's continued. It's postponed. So uh, I, I can speak more about this at 7 o'clock. But in fact, there is no, um, we selected, we did the request for quotes for a peer review, a third party peer review that was finalized last week and no work has been done yet. So uh, the applicants didn't feel like there was any new information, and we concurred with that. I concurred with that, and the town administration did. So we decided just this morning that it would be um, not, not to go into too much. We are going to open the public hearing. We hear from the public. It's a public hearing, so we will do that at 7 o'clock. But there won't be any. The planning board's not going to discuss it because we have no new information. I see. Um, so I know a lot of folks chose not to come because they thought that the 
public hearing was going to be continued to another date. It is going to be continued. But not tonight. talked about tonight. Which is fine. It doesn't so, have to be talked about tonight. Okay. If the public so wants to, because it was listed, okay. doesn't have to be. We're not going to talk about it. The planning board will not talk about it. Okay. okay. So that was one of my questions, so I don't pepper you with other questions okay. at 7 if that's what's going to happen with the agenda. wanted to be clear about that. Um, and I'm... I'm I'm sorry if this is confusing and all, but we're trying to be very open and transparent about everything. So if there is a question, please let us know. But our intent is to be very open and let all public information and questions come forth. But it gets tricky sometimes. I see. Um, so I will save my other questions until it's time at around 7 o'clock. Thank you. And I'll visit you again. Excellent. Thank you. Anything else? Thank you. So we have an a &R on the agenda tonight uh, to act on the redivision of a property at Hoosick and Stillwater Roads. Is the applicant or representative here? You want to come, come forward and we'll get our um, application and plans out. Nope, that's me. That's you. Also, we need to do this. So I have an application, form A, a and r application, um, name of applicant, Faye... Henniger. Henniger? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> From 177 <laughs> Stillwater Road. Um, what are the proposed changes to the plans? Divided lot for sale of 3.007 acres. Um, these have been paid, and this looks like it was accepted by the uh, town clerk. So that doesn't give us a lot of information. So if you can g tell us who you are and um, what, what we're looking at. My name's Jeff Tenerowitz. I live Actually, if, if you could come up to the mic, because right. it's on both TV yep. and people in the I'm, audience. I'm uh, Jeff Tenerowitz. I live on Rizac right Road, yeah. uh, 14, right across the street. And the property, 177 Stillwater Road, owns the land across the street, which is going to be going for sale eventually. And I'm trying to keep the field across the street. She, it was a two-acre lot, and she offered an extra acre, so we're trying to rezone it just because I love my privacy and I would love to keep the, the field. So we're adding two lots together or we're dividing it? No, we're dividing. It was a two-acre lot separated from her five acres total. And so now she switched it so that her house is on two acres and the field is three acres. All right, so I see the house and it says it's labeled number 177. Correct. So that's on 2.267 acres. So we're looking, so you're looking to add this line down the middle. And it's not him. That's what I'm, I guess I'm wondering. Right, so you're that's, just explaining the, new, this to us. that's the new plan. We don't have any representative from We don't this. have a representative. He's just explaining it. Oh, all right. All right. So basically, it was already a two-acre lot originally, a separate lot from her five acres that could be sold as a building lot. And she offered an extra acre, so we went through the process of having to resurvey to add an extra acre to that two acres. But we don't, right. we don't really know anything about that. All we're we doing is we're looking at a property that's right. being divided. So it was about five acres, and we're separated right. to two acres to three acres. And um, okay, so I'm just curious: this, is this angle here? Yeah, but, you, but it's two. That's two public roads, so yeah, okay. I mean, we can look at that. Okay, that's right. yeah, existing. Just, so that's so existing. Okay, yeah, I got you. They're making this new yep. angle. Yep. Yes. I'm okay. Use the yep. The frontage is there on both of the properties. Yep. Access over 200 feet. Access. Yep. And it says. Um, Approval by the planning board under subdivision control law not required. What is this? Okay. Yeah. Say that yeah. this is not a building law. Yeah. Yeah. Why couldn't it be a building law? Yeah, but well, we, can't, we can't assume. We can't do that. Yep. And it has to say on here specifically that it's not. We oh, here it is. Here it is, right up here. Endorsement of an ANR plan does not certify that the lots shown on the plan qualify as building lots under the zoning bylaws. There you go. You that's, have to get that. It. You go to the building inspector and you can get that clarified. Right. But we don't. Right. 
we don't kind of judge on that. So, so I think what you're All saying right. is that this this long piece here was only two two um, acres, and she had three, and now they reversed it. Right, she one. added another acre. Added yeah, it's basically a flop. Now her house is on the two, and the f that's a yeah. three acre lot. So maybe there was a line over here that was three acres, and that was two, and now they moved it. Does that that sound right? No, they're adding this line to this. this right, but they had three a acres a around her house, which may have been over here somewhere, and this was two acres, and they reversed it. So that could have been, but sounds like could have been, but that's not yeah, we don't know. Yeah. But anyways, this is the line they want to put in. Any other questions? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. I move that we approve the uh, A and R on Hemsic Road. I second it. Any other discussion? None. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Six zero zero. All set. All right. So yeah, we're going to sign. Um, and could you spell me your name, please? Sir? It's oh, I put, it's on. Oh, go ahead. J E F F. Yeah, okay. <laughs> T E N E R O W I C Z. Okay. T E N E R N T E N E R O W I C Z. Correct. Okay, thank you. Yep. So we're going to sign the Mylar and a couple. How many copies do you have there? I have two. You got a couple of them? Two. So I'm going to sign a few of these, and um, this has to go to the. So are you. He's not going to bring this back to the applicant, or how is this working? She We're just going to gonna leave it here, right? You're not taking it back to the applicant. I can. She's my neighbor. Um, or it's I can let the, her know. It's usually their engineer who would yeah. file it for them. So, what, what, so I'll let, let, let her, her know, know that, that it's in the office. It's approved. Yeah. She yeah. come. Okay. Yeah, they can come pick it up, bring it to the registry deeds. Okay. I don't know how long it takes. It. But, yeah. All set? Yep. Thanks Thank very you. much. Franklin Regional Planning Board. Yeah. And so John's been our rep. And um, John's been our rep. So they're just saying, check here if you want the same guy. Oh, okay. Or, yeah, or let's do it to him. Or have another person. <laughs> he actually, well, he, he, he hasn't actually been able to go. He does. he does. He loves Well, he it. goes to most of them. He goes um, to as many as he can, I know. And he tells us about it. So mm. anybody, anybody else want to be a representative of the Franklin Regional? Planning board? Arm wrestling John about it? No? All right. Check. <laughs> Check. Check. Got it. So, was there two things we had to do? We did do with the email? Oh, Were there two positions? There was one. Oh, that's a whole nother topic. Let's put that down under. Next topic. Okay. Uh, trying and to remember then what there's they a were. The, CC, um, the CPC. CIPC. 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 Um, what do you this say? is also a community outreach. The 13th next week uh, for Sun uh, Mass Inc. Oh, that's the that's marijuana, marijuana uh, yeah, uh, grower. Outreach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 13th no, or 14th? He's talking about committees. I know. I'm just saying that's the other oh, piece okay. of mail. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. All right, done. Now I'm done. The rest is, that is the porches. You said the 13th. 13th of August. I thought it said 14th somewhere. No? Well, okay. interesting. You are right. It From is the 14th. Days. It's a good thing I'm reading this so carefully. 14th. Tuesday, August 14th. Okay. All right. That's what I thought. Tuesday, said. August Tuesday. 14th. And where's that going to be? Here? 13th is it. Read it out loud. Right here. Bread, otherwise, bed and breakfasts and porches. And so some mail in for the planning board is pertinent to a lot of people out out uh, around Deerfield is that uh, notice of community outreach meeting. This, regard, this is regarding um, potential marijuana cultivator. 
notices hereby given that a community outreach meeting for proposed marijuana establishments to be operated by Sun Mass Inc. is scheduled for Tuesday, August 14th, 2018 at 7 p.m. Uh, here in the town hall. The proposed cultivator establishment is anticipated to be located at 198 Mill Village Road, Deerfield, and the proposed retailer and product manufacturing establishments are anticipated to be located at 4 Greenfield Road, South Deerfield. There will be an opportunity at this outreach meeting for the public to ask questions. So that's good. To have outreach meeting. Says it's the sixth. I'm going with that. Thank you. You're going to sign those last two, they had a place for you to sign. They were doing it in a similar order. All right, sixth item on the agenda act on an updated special permit application form. Did everybody get one? Um, yes. What's different? Max, you got one? Nope. Pass that over. This is a packet. Um, so if, if we all remember back to our town meeting, um, on April 30th, Article 27 uh, was to see if the town will vote to amend its zoning bylaws. So apparently now the, um, in so doing, we also had to change our special permit application, planning board special permit application. That requires a vote of the planning board. So they, they kind of all go together, but the packet that's in front of you is a little more thorough. It's because we changed the bylaw that now we have to change some of the um, the wording in the application. Okay. Uh, wasn't the majority wasn't the majority of that those changes to deal with marijuana establishments? Yeah. Was, yeah. So now on our on our new this so the right. thing in front of you is the planning board special permit application. The right. last checkbox is now marijuana establishments. Right. So, so that's, that's what's been added. That's the all change. the rest of it. All the rest of it was here. Okay. Prior to that. But until the special permit's granted, it's not up to us to grant the special permit. It's just up to us to do the site plan and review after the special permit's been. No, no, we, we are the we, we are the special permit. permitting authority on on marijuana establishments. No, if you remember, we took that <laughs> we took it on. We took it on. So, but it's well, just one of many. I'm right. Sure. Right. But you, somebody, okay. I've just been through a special permit gauntlet myself but yeah, to see the, 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 the planning board does the special permit yeah. the board of selectmen does the host agreement and the state does the actual licensing okay and in, in probably in some cases the establishment might need a site plan review at the same time in which case we can do both right. we can do both at the same time which might be efficient um, so basically Pat Smith has um, reviewed this after the town and has prepared it in this format and would love to hear from the town administrator <laughs> on what else is going to happen in this process. I uh, just was going to point out other small changes, selectmen to select board. Um, there was a name for who to contact at the recorder. I said, people come and go, we'll just make it the phone number. There are these kinds of edits that were in there, but mostly it's adding in the bylaw. And again, as I put in the memo, this is an interim because we need this, we're being asked by marijuana establishment proponents for our, our special permit application package. And so until we get our bylaws codified, it's going to be in this format, which shows the town meeting vote. Once it's in, we'll reduce it a bit, um, but it will be essentially the same. But we need something now um, because... Available to applicants. Yeah. Well, we appreciate your work on this. It's Thank a, you. 
just so could we call careful. it the planning board special permit rather than just a special permit say again on page one you got the same packet what did you say well i'm just in all the language but the the, the title is planning board special permit application okay. right great I think we also use this for the expedited permitting as well. So it's a, it, there's an application in there about that. So. So this host agreement, and there's been a lot of chit-chat Can you speak into it. the oh, microphone, Roger? Roger, can we stick to the special permit unless you, what you're going to say is relevant to the special permit? I think so. Okay. And I was just wondering, is there one that should come before the other? Or if more than one person comes in for this host, agreement and you don't approve one or you do and we don't is there any how does that all play out in the end i'm going to defer to yeah. uh Kip on this. the way it should operate is that everybody does their own thing uh, if an applicant comes to the planning board uh, we go through our process and you know approve or deny if uh, an applicant goes to the uh, board of selectmen for a host agreement you know that's there's the decisions a little bit uh, less because there's multiple uh, cultivators that could get a host agreement. Um, with our zoning being so tight, we can only have one retail establishment. But everybody should do theirs independently of the others. So, it, it, I mean, I guess conceivably they could get a host agreement and not pass site plan review. Right. Then, right. Or vice versa. Right. That's all I was just wondering yeah. if there's a like there's preference. No, right. no there's, there's no order. The, they they can all be done. But they'll go for the site, the host agreement before they come for the special permit. It doesn't necessarily have to be that way, but well, that's the way it seems it's been playing out. Wow. Right. Currently. It, could be. it wasn't how we originally anticipated it to go, but that is the way it's going. It can go that way. So yeah, I just. We don't know. This is all new. happening daily. Right. They're coming up with new regulations. We're trying to stay up with them and do the best we can. And also, and we meet less often than the select board, so the select board's going to move faster. Oh. <laughs> All right. Can I can I just verify what was a comment was made that. The town can can only have one retailer. Yes. That's determined by the what the number of liquor licenses. So if they change the I, ratio, well, I thought that was a minimum. It was. Is it? Yeah, it's not can only. I think it was. It's a, more of a practically speaking, giving the availability of. Um, well, correct. If space. I'm not mistaken, the, you have it is kind of based on liquor licenses, but the state. Um, implemented a part a rule or whatever you want to call it is they rounded up to yes communities and Deerfield was a yes community so technically we could have two but given the fact that the same commission ruled that they have to be 2,000 feet apart the likelihood of that happening in our district is pretty remote I don't think our district is much bigger than 2,000 square feet so that's why we're, we're saying that, well, that more than likely there'll just be one each retailer has to be 2,000. So, but the, retail, the retailers. Well, yes. okay. But more than likely is different than only allowing one. I just wanted to yeah. clarify different, what different, was. Different right. zoning would be. About the 2,000 feet. Um, Somebody said about 2,000 feet. Is that 2,000 feet um, period between the uh, location, or is it only within your feet? It's. Hmm. As far as I understand, it's within Deerfield. Yeah. Where does the regulation come from? Uh, is it Massachusetts. No, it's not. That's a state. That's the state. So in the state, so if they have one in Wakey, then there won't be one if it's actually above shops because all the southern area and the southern area and I believe it's unclear if town line is going to define that. Okay. Unclear. Maybe 40, uh, Maybe 4665, waiting. section 4665, number number eight says a minimum separation of 2,000 feet is required between marijuana retailers. Said distance to be measured in a straight line from the nearest point 
of each facility to the other. So then we got to go through other sections of this to see what town lines, because that doesn't say anything about town no, lines. But I, uh, I have asked council about plan. that, so we're yeah, no, I was wonder, parsing like, through that issue. Lines. Is it property lines or the facility itself? Straight line from the nearest point of each facility. <laughs> so then what's the definition of facility? Facility, in my mind, is a building. The building, yeah. yeah. We'll get clarity on that. For There's people, a lot of things you know. still to talk about. So I can, uh, why don't I, I mention at this point um, that we're hoping to have a, um, that we might need more planning board meetings. So I, that's, <laughs> what I wanted, that's what I wanted to mention. So we've got a couple things. Obviously, we've got the uh, proposed retailer going on. Yep. We've got a proposed uh, at least one, if not two, solar, large, extra large scale solar applications, and then it, potentially some marijuana establishments. Um, and I think we're not going to be able to do that if we just have one meeting a month, or or they'd be extremely exhaustive, long meetings. Well, why don't we wait so. until we have some of the other stuff before us, and then we can schedule. So we do have the. Um, Solar, so I've proposed, and I didn't hear back from anybody, or I only heard back from two people, if we can have a meeting on August 20th. Oh. Um, and that would be focused on the solar. That would be the main. I can uh, do that. Now, actually, before, we, before we go on to that, John, are, are we got, have we got a vote on this? No, I know I'm going off track, and I, I, just, I try you know, not to We have to vote on this. That's very unlike yeah. you. Okay. I'll put that in the minutes Thank first. You. Thank you, Paul. All right, any other things we should know about the special permit application? From your end. Um, so again, this has been looked over by uh, by our peer review people. So I'm I'm feeling pretty confident in it. Any other questions? If not, we'll take a motion to accept to approve the planning board special permit application and um, package package, package. <laughs> which is also the uh, the application, the flow chart, uh, and uh, the uh, bylaws. All together. Usage chart. Yeah. All right, I, I move to approve the planning board special permit application. A second. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Oppose? Abstain? Passes 600. Zero, zero. Okay. So we can now use this for application yes. applicants? Hey. All right, so now can I go back to um, additional meetings? Yeah. Does, does that, do does that make sense? What I suggested is that it's okay, so this, there's a couple 20th, of things in front is of us. Is the, is the 20th the Monday night as well? Yes. Yes, yes third, okay. third Monday of the month. Not okay. the second. Is the retail in the Monday the third Monday? Is that the retail? Nothing's gone. We don't have anything. No, we haven't done that yet. It's the 14th. We're talking about August 20th. Meeting. The 20th. August 20th. Are you talking about the, the informational meeting or? No, retail. Yeah, we're not, we're not there. Um, no, not there. So either. Um, as far as I know, the 20th is okay with me. Too. You're saying it's 7, right? Yeah. Might not be good with me. Uh oh. <laughs> what the heck? Um, it's okay though. Um, when do you know if we drafted a? Um, did we put a public notice out yet for the solar? Because we'd have to do that today. Right? Uh, yeah. Um, damn. I think we might have already done that. We mean we already Set missed it? Set up for the 20th, you mean? Yeah. So it's a done deal whether we like it or not. I was in last week working with Priscilla, and um, it looked like that was going to work for enough people, and um, it would give us time to put, you have to have the, the two public notices in, so you need to decide two weeks ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Well, so, how many people can make the 20th then? I can. I can. Rachel, Rachel and Kip said they could. Yeah. So it works. I can plan it and we'll go. Huh? Monday the 20th? No. Okay, so. You don't know? Yeah. 
and um, John Baronis. We'll let him know. We'll let him know. So we're going to do that at uh, seven. So we'll uh, schedule a um, planning board meeting for August twentieth, seven o'clock. That's, in, that's and in regards to the so main, solar. Main item will be a um, site plan review and special permit for Old Frontier Solar. Um, which we have an application for both site plan review and uh, special permit. And where are those located? Map 142, closed. lot 20 and 22. And no storm um, water? Did you say there was storm water? Or not? That's there's none of that, right? Um, Sorry. Uh, solar energy facilities to be installed on lots 20 and 22 off Set Right Road in Deerfield. Mm -hmm. Two lots, the two lots are currently farmed and owned by Chester Ostrowski. Ostrowski, both zoned residential agriculture. Um, 2.0 2. megawatt system on 9.95 acres of land, which qualifies it as a, as a large scale ground mounted solar energy system. And so we're the special permitting grant, granting authority and the uh, site plan review authority. So it's a large scale? Yeah. yeah. So it probably does, yeah, it, I'm sure, certainly it's going to require a stormwater uh, management plan as well. Hmm. Yep. All right. So he is all set for both, for all three? Yep. Okay. So actually, um, these weren't here either. So there's a packet for each, each of us that's in the office. Each one, each one of us has one of these? Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. good. Right. Right. Well, is Andy's still there? Yeah. We need to get something out yeah, of the so. planning board office. If, uh, mm -hmm. Paul, I think, has a key. It's um, a special permit for the solar. Do you project. need the key or do you want one? <laughs> All right, thank you very much for scheduling that. Um, so August 20th. So Rachel's going to be in charge? Huh? Right. I, might, I might be here. If not, I'll, okay. I'll let you all know. We can help you out. Yeah. I'm sure she'll need We're behind you, Rachel. <laughs> this one fall backwards. Yeah. yeah. Those, <laughs> those, those lances hurt. <laughs> Oh man, we're so efficient. Now we have to wait till seven o'clock. Any any other mail we should talk about? Actually, mm, CIPC. If you guys are all set. I'm going to CIPC. 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 All right. Did you want this? Is that your writing? Is that yes, yes. all right? Thanks, Skip. Actually, we should have. Uh, I should have mentioned before we started. We had a quorum. Max, Roger, Paul, Kip, yep. Rachel, and John. Mm -hmm. Missing one. Um, now it's two. Kip has, has, to, has to excuse himself for the rest of the meeting. And it's 10 minutes to 7, and we're not supposed to, we can't start a CIPC. public hearing until when it was, um, until when it was scheduled for 7 o'clock. So the other question we have for us is, um, who are the planning board representatives to the, the capital the, invest, capital, what do you capital call it? The Capital planning. Improvement Planning Committee. Did we discuss this? Nope. In passing. All right. So we should make a decision on who's going to be the rep. I'd like to be the representative to the Capital Improvement Planning Committee. Who has? Have you been? I have been, and I would appreciate being on it too. So. And what's it called? It's the. Uh, CIPC. Capital. I think I. Capital Improvement. Capital Improvement Committee. Planning Committee. Planning Committee. Yeah. It used to be called something else, so. Yeah. Go. The only problem is it does meet earlier. It meets at 4 and 5. 5. Yeah. 5. That's true. 5.30. Thank you. Thank you. That one. And so you have been attending and yeah. representing us yep. well? Or? Yep, yep, yep. You're buying trucks and tractors and stuff that yep. is relevant to yep. my experience. Yes. It's true. 
So do we point two? You mean, or just? Uh, oh, we could. Or just just one. We might be able to ask that. Pass those now. I have been told we have one planning board appointee. We do. Capital Improvement Planning Committee, is that what it's called? Right. Okay. So there's lots of different, what other kinds of things do they um, The plan? idea, it's, it is absolutely making a, some sort of overall understanding of where the next five years, next ten years, um, looking at things like needs, ongoing needs for each of the departments, working with department heads to help them go with, um, build things outside of their budgets, not absolutely reviewing their budgets. It's, there's that kind of fine line between the finance committee and the mm -hmm. um, capital improvements. Um, and there's a lot of overlap there. Um, there's a representative to the CIPC from the so finance committee. So do you guys want to pace off? Well, I'm actually. I feel like I've done a, you know, yeah. I've done a good job there in a sense. I feel like um, there are a couple of big, move, you know, it is more than tractors. It is tractors, and um, the snow plows. That was one of the big, you know, big expenses. Um, and I've enjoyed. I have to say, I appreciate the opportunity to listen to the department um, heads present what it is that they feel is important to their program and how to move forward with it. Um, so in that, you know, it's also a place where some bigger rocks are moved in terms of um, free cash um, allotments so that we're shoring up against other financial possibilities down the road. It's part of that is the planning as well, building reserves. Um, but I'm, I'm happy to take a turn off, so I'm not... I'd just as soon stay on, but um, I defer to it. So it's either way. I'm not. I'm not wed to it per se. I'm just very um, engaged with how the different departments have to uh, both justify their their um, program expenses, their current program expenses, but also look out ahead. And I think it's one of the things in town that uh, we really need to do very carefully: is look out ahead. We've got um, always the threat of something enormous coming down the road. We have our town budget has a lot of quick influxes of of quick influxes of money, and not the steady stream that would be uh, what Hadley has along Route Nine. That's a steady stream of commercial. Um, so we have a, a different budgetary concern in mass in our town, which is um, we are flush one minute and then we feel panicked the next. Um, and I think that, that has been really interesting to watch how carefully people are um, taking those concerns of fiscal responsibility, but also balanced with good progress for it. So that's my two cents. Good. I mean, normally, we, if someone's on it, we're doing a good job. My taxes keep going up. Taxes. Do they, do, do, can the public come to those meetings? Public can come, and it isn't yeah. per se a tax, you know, like the tax issue is a feature, but that's more the assessors. There's a, there's a representative from the assessors board, and that is the um, finance committee. So, A lot of times they would use free cash to fund some of these things, but I think they want to actually start, ge excuse me, generating some money so they can plan ahead. Exactly. So it does affect your taxes. No, and, absolutely, it affects your taxes. And and it's not. And I'm not. I'm not saying it's not a tax issue, but it isn't. Well, it, it's not the place that those decisions are made about taxes. But you're spending tax money. Yep. On that, snow plows. That's. Yeah. On everything. Buildings. On everything. everything. On buildings. On just, roofs. Roofs for right. this building. Right. Which end up coming to town meeting, right? Doesn't. Well. Do most of them. Uh, Big ticket, yeah. you know the the elementary school roof was the that was right. that's the one we we're all going to point to at some point that that was. You can have some debates about it, and the selectmen will sometimes override those committees exactly. and put it on anyway. So it's almost a waste of time. <laughs> well, I would disagree with that. Yeah. I, I would disagree. I think. So you guys want to flip a coin, or do you? No, wanna... no, no. I mean, I I think. Well, it's an appointment from the board, so I think we need to, as a group, say we feel comfortable, you know. Rachel, stay in, or we want to switch and put Max on? Yep. I mean, I'll put Max on. 
I've never heard of. I, I We've always was, right. I thought <laughs> Rachel's been doing a fine job. <laughs> um, and would say to keep her on. I mean, you can certainly go as a taxpayer. Well, and, uh, meeting, and we can so. we can pursue other lines of. I mean, if I wanted to stay on this committee, I could pursue another um, appointment. There are other appointments that not just our board. Yeah. Um, but, but so this I is think our, that is it, important. I yeah. do want to say that this is our board, the planning board. And I would like someone representing the planning yeah. board and not just as an individual taxpayer. You can right. go as an individual taxpayer and voice your concern, but if you're going to represent us, then it's important that you, for the planning well, board, to well, appoint What I'm hearing Rachel saying is that um, she could stay on the board as a representative for another group. No, not necessarily. No. I'd have to oh. pursue that. Right. I'd have to pursue that. Oh, there I are see. other positions. Or Max other... could try to get on that through right. another, another avenue. There are other avenues. There's a... I just thought there aren't any it would, avenues, so. my experience would fit best with that type of committee. As far as planning purchases of plant and equipment, no, fixing I, buildings I and buying trucks. You want to try observing for the next year and then, does, then next year we'll we can is, switch her? I think it is more than buying trucks too, though. Yeah. I mean, I think that, and I don't disagree with you. I think that it is there's a lot of sensitivity around what big budget items the the town takes on and how those budget items are managed. Um, hot in the in the hop, right in the hopper right now is the what's going to happen with sewer. The, every town is every town is dealing with the sewer issue, and that that's a planning issue, pure and simple, and um, that's so, got to be discussed somewhere. And I think it's a good place, a good forum. All right. So we want to vote on this, or? I'll make a nomination to nominate Max as our capital improvement representative. Is there a second? Can I second myself? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I guess I you can. I think you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I nominate Rachel to remain on it. Is there yeah. a second for that? I'm going to second myself, too. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a good idea. So, Paul, it comes down to you. Well, I, I would much prefer <laughs> that they really decide do. amongst themselves. I know, I know. But that's okay. If, if uh, you know, I, I don't have uh, feeling either way. So. Skip d ditched out right at uh, that time. I know it. I know it. Are you, would you consider being like an observer for next year and then we'll come back next year? Or, or did, we don't have to wait 12 months, actually. What's my other option? <laughs> Talk to Paul. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Well, let's move forward. Okay. Well, who are we going to send to the capital improvement planning committee? You've already decided. Take a vote, and then that's what will end it. Yeah. Well, I, I, my, my initial feeling is to go with the person that's already there, but if you guys said, hey, I, I'd, uh, one of you said that the other one could do it, then I'd go with that. So I, I'm. I'm not wed to either one. Yeah. Really. So how, what do we split the difference? Let's say let's in um, what's this August? Let's in January or February come back to this. Leave Rachel on it, and get get John and uh, Kip back here to to weigh in, and then you can. Okay. It's a one year position. It's a one year. I, it's a, one it's year a swear position. in. Yeah, yeah. You have to swear. It works up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it is a one year thing. I'm, I'm holding firm on it. I just, I want to stay on it. I think it's an important board. I'm just kind of getting the hang of what's going on there, I think. Yeah, I, I, and, and like I said, it's only, it's only that, that you've already been on it that I would vote for you, Rachel, so. All right, it's all in favor of Rachel. Against. And it's not against you, Max. I, I, yeah, I, no, exactly. I just, I, I just, like I said, I was, yeah, no, I understand. It, it made more sense to me than issue. the community preservation. Uh -huh. Yeah. So we'll, three to two, the planning board will uh, keep Rachel on the CIPC. And thank you very much, Max, for volunteering. And I think that there's plenty of time to get involved in it. So let's come back to this next year. But thanks very much. Okay. All right, seven o'clock. I would like to. Was there another position we needed to address to? The CPC, the CPC. Um, but that's already two of you, right? Because you're on it as a select board point eight, okay. and you're on it as ours. Right. All right. So we, we don't have to vote on that? No, we already. Okay, so that's good. Okay. That. Okay. So at 7 o'clock, I'd like to open the public hearing. This hearing has been continued from July 2nd on the proposed retail establishment at the corner of Mill Village 
and Greenfield Roads. Oh. The project proposes the development of the property through the construction of a 9,318 square foot Dollar General retail store with associated site improvements, including driveways, parking areas, utilities, stormwater infrastructure, and landscaping. The plans will be reviewed pursuant to the following regulations. First one, zoning bylaw section 5400, site plan review. The second one, zoning bylaw section 3120, which is reduction of parking requirement by special permit. And the third is the stormwater regulations for the town of Deerfield. And the plans have been available at the town hall um, for the past month. So we had a, um, as we discussed earlier, we met in July 2nd. We heard from both the applicant and members of the public, and we had a lot of information was exchanged. At that meeting, we uh, decided to hire a peer review, uh, a third party peer review engineering company, because there was a lot of issues that we knew that the planning board itself um, couldn't look at in as much depth as we needed. Um, Stormwater, water runoff, water table, all those water issues, traffic. Um, the, the, I think the bottom line here is though that that over the interim we had we picked Ty and Bond to be the right. peer, I'm, right? I'm gonna, okay, I'm right. Gonna get to that. So, um, so we did a RFQ is what we call it, a request for proposals, and um, we sent that out to I believe five or six engineering firms. And basically, we listed a lot of the issues that were discussed at the last um, at the at the last meeting, including stormwater, environmental, erosion, um, traffic, parking, um, valuation of, of the neighboring properties. So we put that RFQ out there. And what we did before that, though, is we asked that uh, Pat Smith for, or the, the Franklin Regional Council of Government would help um, help us with the administrative part of the site plan review and the special permit because there's a lot of moving parts and we wanted someone who's very well experienced in doing that. So the Franklin Regional Council of Governments put together a proposal to help us with the administrative side of this uh, application and then we put a request for quotes out and we received two, uh, two responses and I want to tell you who, they are, who they're from. One was from Ty and Bond which I believe is in, uh, located in Westfield. And the other was from Berkshire Design Group, which is out of Northampton. So at the board's request, uh, the chair of the planning board, along with the administrative staff at the town hall and the Franklin Regional Council of Governments, reviewed both proposals. And we were uh, in agreement that we should select tie and bond. The main reason, from, certainly from my point of view, was that they have, um, we've worked with them before. So they're a known quantity to this board and to the zoning board. And they have a bigger, uh, bigger staff who can handle different things. Their lead person on this uh, is as a specialty in stormwater management, which is going to be very important for us, as well as roadway, des roadway design and rehabilitation, um, is a professional engineer. The other person on the team is a licensed soil evaluator in Massachusetts, among other things. And another person on the team is a traffic engineer, is their specialty. So we felt like they were going to look at a lot of the issues that uh, the planning board and people in town are very concerned about. So we just made that um, decision last week, and we informed the applicant. The applicant then has to, and they, in the request for a quote, they actually say how much they're going to charge to do what we asked them to do, and I believe it was $7,800. And so the applicant is in the process of making a payment to the town, um, and when that happens, then we engage. So the town selects this engineer, I want to be clear, that the applicant doesn't get to decide, the town decides, but the applicant does pay for it as well as the Council of Governments bill that comes in. So it has to be paid up front. So we're waiting for that. That should happen um, today or tomorrow. And then we engage tie and bond. Uh, up and for the and past- did you say that, did Pat give a quote on her thing too? Yes. And what was that? 
I don't have that in front of me. Okay. A couple thousand dollars. Okay. Two or three, I think. So um, since that's what's been happening for the last, since the last meeting, we, uh, on Friday or over the weekend, the applicant said, you know, not, not much new has come. We'd be happy to continue the meeting. Um, as uh, I agreed, town administrators agreed, so we decided that we would not, um, that we would open this meeting, we would continue it, and I can take some public comment, but we're not going to engage in any, any kind of decision making or, or really further the process because um, there's not uh, any new, inf not, we don't consider there are a lot of substantial new information and would rather get the facts when the engineers and the uh, consultants do their work. So that's where we stand. What we would like to do is certainly continue this hearing, the public hearing. We're going to keep it open and continue it until a date uh, further. We'd like to give at least um, three, four, five weeks to let the engineers and the peer reviews do their thing. When we look at the first Monday in September, when we usually meet, that that's Labor Day, I believe. So then do we want to schedule it um, later that week or the following Monday would be my proposal. The uh, 10th, Rosh Hashanah. Yikes. 17th. Oh. So another, we could do it another night. Seven. We could do it the 11th. The 11th, I could not be there the 11th. <clears throat> In a minute, I got to open it up first. We're gonna. We haven't opened up the meeting yet. We're gonna figure out what the planning board proposes first, and then we'll. There's a point about you might want to know is that I'm pretty sure this will need a survey, and the surveys have been backed up. We're trying to get surveys. Yeah. So we appreciate any input, but I'll, I'll ask you to make a comment when we ask you to make a comment. Um, is there a date? Is that is the um, the tenth? Is it Monday and the eleventh? It's a, it's a it Jewish Tuesday? holiday, so. We shouldn't meet then. Okay. So either... 17th? Another... Yeah, I mean, we, we tend to do Mondays, so the 17th. The thing is, if we're on the, the 20th, that's a month in between, so that covers us in a way. Do you see what I'm saying? Or we start choosing another night. Well, how about... I mean, the 11th is a, is a, is a Tuesday, right? Yeah, I, I said I can't make it that night, oh, but you can't. We could, okay. as long as you can get a quorum, yeah. you can do it. But um. So this would be or our next fourth. regular scheduled meeting. Mm -hmm. Well, we, we already scheduled the 20th, but that's focused on the, yep, yep. On the other thing. So this so is the next. This is our September meeting we're looking at. So, you know, we can look at the 4th, 5th, 6th, other, other, other weekdays. Uh, the 4th fourth is fourth. voting day. Is that voting day here, Wendy? So we can't use this hall on the fourth, I think. Huh? Primary. Yeah, primary day. I mean, we, we obviously need a quorum, especially uh, John Moronis hasn't been at these, so I'm not sure he's going to be able to participate even if he came. So it's important that the five of us can feel confident Six. about making a meeting. I'd have to double check the 17th. I'm not sure. How about the 27th? That's just too soon. I mean, the thing oh, about the 27th oh, oh. is that that's the... Uh, one, two, three. That won't give the engineers that much time. I don't time. think so. Uh. I'm just throwing it out there. Well, the, the f what's the 5th? The 5th is a Wednesday, 5th or 6th. It's good. 6th. 6th is not good for me because of the... I think that's the, uh, the, the first uh, parade for the fair. Wednesday the 5th, you know, this building is open? First, first Wednesday. First and third, no? Yeah, it's 5th and the 19th. We meet at 7 or? Oh, they meet at 7. And, and the 7th would be a Friday then, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We could find the 12th to 13th? That's holiday. the following week. That'd be okay. Wednesday nights tend to work. 
Max? 11th. Wednesday the 12th. Wednesday the 12th, that's fine. Roger? I'm in. All right, I mean, we'd have to check with the applicant. We'd want them here, so, um, and, and the engineers, the peer review, but, um, yeah. <laughs> but I think we can, uh, so let's propose the 12th. The 12th, which is Wednesday? Yeah. yeah. Okay, September. So that'd be a considered our regular scheduled meeting? Yeah, our September okay. meeting. It seems so. to be the first time we can, uh, we can do it. Seven, six. So at this point, I would, uh, public hearing's open, um, but we do plan on continuing it when we're gonna hear from more, the experts with more, uh, you know, detailed information, but I'm, I'm happy to hear from anybody tonight if they think there's any new information or something that, that we have to, um, that, that would help us move forward. Yes. We know, Deb. I believe this mic is on. You could sit or stand and pull that down, but we do want you to talk into a mic, so. Don't know. Is this audible or? No, it's not on. So this one, I just guess, works. This yeah, one, I this one might just yeah. Thank you. Thank you for, for the opportunity to speak. Sure. My name is Deborah Shriver. I live in town. I'm also part of a group called Deerfield for Responsible Development. We are promoting development that respects the town's historic character, uh, preserves its farms and open spaces, and supports a vibrant local economy and a sustainable economy. I'm joined by a number of other folks who are involved in this. And while I know that you won't be responding tonight and some of what I'm going to read, I'd like to read into the record just, just so that it's uh, settled. You've Would you already just give me a copy of whatever you've got? No. Yeah, you've already received a copy. Uh, okay. all, the all the planning right. board members have received a copy of this letter. Well, we received it's, two that's tonight, dated so which one is it? I'm sorry, it's delayed, dated July 17th. Okay, because I think we got two tonight, actually. The, uh, I'm not sure. This was delivered to you folks some time got, ago, but I that's got okay. I one from Tolly Stark and Tom Hilchie. Yep, there's and one, one from... from um, oh, the same, the same signatures. But one well, it's from the page. same group. It's from the same group, yeah, I believe. I believe yeah. it's Okay. Paul, I think. Well, which one do you want in the minutes, I guess? Is uh, the one I'm, I'm going to read that should go into the minutes is uh, dated July 17th. It's directed to okay, Mr. Another Wade. Okay, July 31st. Okay, so, so that's, those are, that's okay, the one sure. I'm about to yeah. read, and I recognize that some of the issues are being addressed by, or will be addressed by Ty and Bond, but this is really to, to uh, make a kind of emphasis, uh, mm -hmm. put a, an exclamation point on that. Okay. So addressed to Mr. Waite. Dear Mr. Waite, on behalf of community members of the town of Deerfield and the citizens group Deerfield for Responsible Development, we are writing to inquire about actions the planning board anticipates taking as a result of the public meeting that began July 2nd, 2018. We thank you for leaving the public meeting open for additional citizen participation as the planning board addresses the various applications made by South Deerfield DG LLC in its Route 5 Mill Village Road development proposal. Many of the documents and representations contained in these initial applications appear to be in flux and because they involve complicated public safety, environmental and engineering issues we encourage and appreciate the diligence that the board has demonstrated. Thank you. It's our understanding that the board plans to seek independent studies of matters including traffic patterns and environmental impacts, among many others. We would greatly appreciate it if the planning board would provide the public with a complete list of the studies to be undertaken, as well as a list of the vendors selected to perform those studies. Well, we now know who who the vendors are, and we'll love to know. We have a certain understanding now of what the, some of those studies will be. We would like to confirm that these studies will be based on entirely new research performed by organizations that have no existing or previous relationship to South Deerfield DG LLC, Liscotti Development Corporation, Bowler Engineering, Dollar General or any of its affiliates or employees.
This will create the opportunity for truly independent information that's critical to the responsible development of the proposed site. We understand that the applicant will be responsible for a transportation impact assessment, or TIA, and the planning board is seeking requests for quotation to review the transportation impact assessment. We, however, have concerns regarding the specific criteria of the TIA. As stated above, this traffic study should be based on entirely new research. A mere review of the applicant's existing submissions would be unlikely to yield independent information. Number one, the intersection of Route 5 Mill Village Road and North Main Street has been classified as a top crash location for the area. We provide a URL citation of uh, referencing um, mass DOT. Accidents there have resulted in personal injury and fatality. We therefore would like to see the current mass DOT data on this intersection specifically reflected and taken into consideration in the independent transportation impact assessment. We, number two, we request that the planning board require the applicant to categorize vehicle trips as primary trips and not pass-by trips as stated by the applicant at the July 2nd planning board meeting and that the applicant use actual customer visits per week from comparable retail stores that have been in operation for at least one year with the same daily hours of operation for the anticipated number of trips generated. Number three, we would like to be sure that the TIA has adequate information on morning peak hours, midday peak hours, afternoon and evening peak hours, and weekend peak hours including public buses and private buses such as school buses, while also specifically taking into account seasonal variations such as summer travel and, and tourist season, holidays, and special events such as the old Deerfield Craft Fair. Number four, the new mass DOT TIA guidelines accepted in 2014 also include the green DOT guidelines, we again provide a URL for that reference, that these state in part, quote, private developers that access state-owned highway are required to design, build, and operate their projects in a manner that encourages and seeks to increase walking, bicycling, and transit use, end quote. We would like to be sure this is properly addressed in the TIA as well, as this is not currently incorporated into the site plan. Number five, we request that the town immediately notify the appropriate mass DOT per permitting and enforcement departments that the town is in the process of seeking an independent TIA study of this intersection and will provide the results to mass DOT upon completion. We also ask the town to request that mass DOT delay action on any new, pending, or renewal applications for a Route 5 driveway permit related to the proposed development site until the new TIA has been completed and independently reviewed. Although traffic safety is a primary concern, we also request independent analyses of drainage, sewage disposal, effects on adjacent septic systems, utilities, traffic flow within the site, parking, adequacy of police, ambulance, and fire department access, availability of adequate water supply for firefighting, lighting, signage, landscaping, recommendations for significantly altering the building facade so it reflects the character of the residential neighborhood as well as the town of Deerfield. Any analysis should consider both the required parking and the proposed reduction in parking spaces. Regarding the unpermitted clear cutting of trees along Route 5 in front of the proposed development site, the Mass DOT permit engineer for District 2 has informed us that, quote, Mass DOT did not issue a permit to this property owner for tree removal along the state, high, along the state roadway, end quote. 
He also stated that the landowner has been issued a formal notice of violation. We request that the Deerfield Town Council attend, well, the next scheduled public hearing. I've included August 6th, although obviously that's in, um, inappropriate at the moment, but we would say September 12th, I believe, was the next date. Uh, hearing of the planning board to explain what legal steps the town has taken or intends to take to intervene with Mass DOT as it evaluates, quote, future options and action that can be taken to address the unpermitted tree removal activities, end quote. These unpermitted tree removal activities, in quotes, have a material bearing on the proposed land sale agreement and the developer's applications for special permits related to proposed development of the site, and they need to be given appropriate consideration by the planning board and other town agencies during the review process. We look forward to supporting our town and planning board as this proposed development is considered. We aim to actively participate in this process and welcome any suggestions about how we can work together to arrive at the best outcome for Deerfield. Sincerely, Tolly Stark and Tim Hilchey, co-chairs of Deerfield for Responsible Development. Thank you very much for your patience and for allowing me to read this into the record. Should I leave a, a, an additional copy for the minutes? Yeah, we can leave one. If you can have an extra, we can put it in the I've file. I've got extras if you need more than one. No, I mean, we all have one, so okay. thank you yeah, very much. Yeah, you do, so I think we've, uh, we've, we've papered you sufficiently. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Deborah, and to everybody at the Deerfield for Responsible Development. I, I can quickly I can make two um, comments, because it came up on July 2nd, was to look into the tree removal. And as, as you've heard, I think there has been some indication from MassDOT that, uh, that the taking down of the trees was not proper, and they are working on that, is what I'm told. I wasn't given all, all the details. We also consulted, I asked uh, our, our town administrator to consult with our attorney, and I did get a statement back from our attorney on what implications that violation of the taking down of the trees has on this um, site plan review and special permit. And um, our attorney, Adam Costa, um, basically said, he said it's a little tricky. He said the fact that an applicant has done something unlawful, um, which is more about his or her or its character and less about the proposal at issue, is not proper consideration in evaluating said proposal. So he cites some laws and some um, court cases where board decisions based even in part on the character and reputation of an applicant or his or her or its prior zoning violation has been reversed or remanded. Um, so he's basically sort of advising us that we can't, that that's a separate issue from the site plan review application. Um, that, that's what our attorney says. Um, but we did check on that because that was requested of us at our last uh, public hearing. Um, so that's what I know there. As far as some of the other uh, Things that Deborah mentioned is, um, as, as you've heard, we have hired the peer review engineers, traffic. Um, as we always do on site plan review and stormwater management, we know that the water level in the water table in Deerfield is high, and that's an extreme concern to everybody, so we're going to have all those issues looked into, um, as well as all, all water has to remain on site. That's basically our, our, uh, the bylaw in, in Deerfield. Um, we're looking, we've asked our, en our uh, traffic engineers to look at this building not just as a Dollar General, but as a high, as a, as a potential, any kind of potential retail that would have a lot of customers. So to really analyze it as a very high traffic area and see what, see what they come up with on that. So it's not just taking the, um, the numbers that are, are given by the applicant in this case. Um, so we'll have more, more information on that. Is there Question about that? If you can come up to the, the mic. Sorry. I think we're going to have to do it from here because I don't know if that's hot. Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm Gina Bordoni Cowley from the Rock Fossil Dinosaur Shop. So I just had a question. I'm wondering, I'm glad to hear that there's going to be 
an independent look at the water situation there. But I'm wondering also if the engineers are going to talk to the abutters um, that surround that site because we all know that the clear cutting happened um, and how that's affecting my shop is that um, anytime there are rainstorms, um, I'm getting water coming into the building <clears throat> where I hadn't before. And then also in the back where the dinosaurs are, there's, um, you know, it's landscaped so that there are wood chips so that the kids can run around back there. But again, anytime there's um, any significant rainstorm, as, as we certainly have had um, this summer, all my wood chips are floating, floating around back there um, and being moved because there's so much water coming in there. There is a drain and <clears throat> some of the water that's coming off is going down the drain, but there's a significant amount of water that's coming into the shop now. So I just, I'm hoping that that's something that the engineers will take into consideration and talk to the abutters about. We will, I can make that request, and if, if they haven't by the, by the next meeting, let us know. Because um, mm -hmm. the thing is, water has to stay on property. If, if, if your water issue is coming from somewhere else, there's not much they can do, but it can't, it can't come from this property. The only yeah. thing you know, that, to me, so. just sounds a little difficult is that the property is not the property where the trees were. So um, I'm trying to understand from what uh, Adam Costa said, how do we control what happens on the state's property and hold the developers responsible for it? That's that's. Oh, I don't I know how I don't I know how you do that. It's like it's like somebody saying your neighbor did something. Now we're going to hold you responsible for it. I'm not sure how you do that. Well, I don't know either. But they, yeah. you know, obviously the landscape has been changed significantly. And those trees that were there were mm -hmm. sucking up all that extra water, and yeah. now they're not there. And right. then once they pave all that, then there's going to be even more trouble because well, the And water I just wonder if that's something you could go to the state for and say to the state, hey, this is what's happening because your, your property is causing problems to me, and let them go to the, to the developer and say, you know, mm -hmm. I, I mean, I don't know. It's, it's, it sounds to me like when there's a three-car accident and one guy pushes somebody into somebody else, you know, how do you... Uh, yeah, because, there, well, there's going to yeah. be a lot of that sort of snowballing effect because when you change one thing, it affects everything else. So, yeah. right. so you know, right. I, I just want it on the record that... You're seeing you're seeing Because that's been problems. significantly yeah. changed, there's all kinds of water coming in. Are you a direct abutter to the property or are you a butter to the DOT property? That's my... I think that, uh, I think that that's the, the state, but I'm not exactly sure because it's kind of a strange mm. um, configuration. I don't know their property, but she might meet at a corner, Rachel. At a corner. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And what's your last name, June? I didn't get that. Oh, um, it's Bordoni Cowley. Okay, could you just write it down for me, maybe? It's on the list, yeah. It's on the list, yeah. Is it on the list somewhere? Okay, good. Thank you. So I also want to make, um, just let people know that we, as Paul said, we received two letters tonight. One was the one that Deborah read, and the other is, uh, was from Deerfield for Responsible Development addressed to the select board, and we were copied on it. So, but I, so we'll have to read that, too. But we, we, were, no, cop we were copied on it. So. She's standing there, I think. Hi, right, Dolly, you want to <laughs> speak again? Hey. John, when you interviewed for the engineering firm. Talk into the mic, please. I am talking into it. Well, You're not, <laughs> not really. I've, I, So I just want to let everybody know, I've been warned over the past month that they said I do a pretty good job, but they often don't hear other people on the board, planning board. So. so I just wondered, like, when all these engineers with their degrees and stuff, do any of them have any practical experience? At tie and bond? Yes. So the lead of the team is Jean Christie, and some of you might remember several years ago she was here as a peer review for the town of Deerfield on another project, and I know I, we respected her for her work then. Okay, so um, she's been involved in these things so for a number of years. That's the team leader, and then the other two have um, 
I, I think you've got a copy of it, so please look at it and if you have any questions about them. I don't think I got a copy, but anyways, I would just wonder if they had any practical experience. Oh, well, Ty and Vaughn, as we know. Does. Yeah, but it doesn't mean and Ty and Vaughn has multiple employees, like you said. Right, right. right. So the, the team leader does. We know that. Um, I'm not sure we, how far we looked into the others. Uh, yes, Tolly. Hi. Good evening again. Um, oh, Tolly Stark. I hey, live on Keats Road. I'm also a member of Deerfield for Responsible Development. And if anyone watching at home is interested in what we're doing, you can email us at hello at drd.network and also find us on Facebook. Um, I just wanted to um, briefly point out that um, although you stated it seems that um, legal counsel is kind of unclear as to what purview the planning board has in the site review process, that effectively, um, there was a notice of agreement um, for the sale of the land that was filed um, in with the site plan that is dated January 3rd of 2018. And the trees were cut um, April 28th of 2018. So I think that correlation um, warrants some further investigation, whether that's through the planning board or the select board. Um, that's for the town to decide, but effectively, it has taken away the planning board's ability to um, enforce the zoning bylaw 5461 that says um, minimize the volume of cut and fill, the number of removed trees, six inch caliper or larger, the length of removed stone walls, the area of wetland vegetation displaced, the extent of stormwater flow increased from the site, soil erosion, and the threat of air and water pollution. So I just wanted to bring that to the board's attention that because this cutting happened and was not permitted, that it also took away the board's ability to um, enforce that bylaw that we have. And as you notice, if you look at the Cumberland Farms down the road, there are still some very nice, mature, beautiful trees right by the roadway where that new development is that were there that are six inch caliper larger. And I feel that the fact that this opportunity was taken away definitely warrants some further investigation. And I just um, ask the board to please continue to pursue that. Thank you. Yep, thanks. That was noted too. Anybody else have anything or? Should we continue it till um, later in the month? Yes, Bruce. Hi. I'm Bruce Hunter, 103 Sing Gully Road, South Diffield. Uh, I have two um, questions. Um, I understand Pat Smith has been hired to do an administrative study of the proposed project. I would want to make sure that that's available to the public somehow. Um, whether it's on the town's website. Um, we should be able to see what she's reviewing. I'm not gonna ask it of the engineer because I'm sure the engineer will make a presentation of his or her findings. Um, but Pat Smith's presentation or review should be available um, to the public. Um, the second is a, is a question relative to who has the authority if, the, if a sign exceeds the measurements required in the zoning. Um, I don't see that the applicant has requested a variance or a waiver for sign dimensions, and I'm not sure the planning board is the appropriate authority to make that determination. It might be the zoning board, but I'm not sure, and the I just like the enforcement. I'm not sure who would make that well, it ruling. Is so it is part of the site plan review. So if, if, if it wasn't in compliance at the site plan review level, we would not allow it. Would not allow the sign at all. Right. And if someone so puts up a bigger sign than what they're allowed, then that's a monitoring, that's a building inspector. We, can't, we yeah. can't deny a sign because it's the wrong size, but we can tell them it is the wrong size and they can't, they can't, they right. can't exceed that size. We right. can't refuse but to give them a sign just because they came forward with a So there's sign no variance speed. or waiver by, of the zoning regulation? It hasn't been requested. Hasn't been requested. Okay, yet. but if it is requested, the planning board will just say you cannot 
put up a sign of that size? I don't think it's up to us. I don't think it is. I either. think it's a ZBA it's special. I think, I think it is also. So you just make you'll make a review of that and say it's either meets the regulation or doesn't meet it. Yeah. All right. I think that's all I have. Thank you. Thank you. Um, just regarding what um, I, I found the. Um, the letter from the Franklin Regional Council of Governments, it's actually $4,200 that the FERCOG estimates they need to do their, um, their review, and it, they call it an administrative review, but it's to go through every item on the site plan review checklist and the special permit checklist. So um, we always do get, the planning board gets copies of that, so, and it's a public document, so I will check with the town and see if we can, how, how we can make sure that's available to other people, whether it's on the website or another way. So, um, so at this point, um, I would like to propose we continue the. Uh, can I, can I sure, Mark. I'll, yep. I'll yep. Great. About about the um, the proposed retail store, Dollar General. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What do you think we're talking about? I. Yes. Go. Sorry. That's what we're talking about. So I want to just say and to everybody about this, um, as far as the engineering plan, which is a good idea to have this um, independent review of the engineering plan, as far as drainage goes, the land does not look wet to me. I don't know if it is or not, but I'm assuming that it's not, and that the drainage will most likely be able to be solved with money. That they'll have to do something in engineering to solve the problem of the drainage. Just want to say I'm not, um, for the Dollar General, I am personally against it, but I would not really take my input into here unless the town was against it. So if the town all said, we want a Dollar General, I'll go with the town. If the town all says they don't want a Dollar General, I'll go with the town. So I would like to know that we should find out about that. That is not really the planning board's business, and it's not the purpose of this meeting, but it's the only place we get to speak. So. Um, as far as the engineering review, it will delay it, it will take a little bit of time, but most likely it will just cost the people more money. At some point, it might not be economically feasible for them to do this, and so um, thank you very much for your help with everything. You've done a great job of writing the letter and putting this work together. Um, as far as the cutting of the trees and the lawyer's response to it, it sounds like the lawyer's saying that we can't do anything about it from the town's point of view because it's state land. Is that true? Is that what you're getting out of it? No, what I read was um, the town maybe can do other things, but what the planning board should be careful of is not to, to use that against sort of against the, the site plan review. So that's what I want to get at. So what direction would we go to try to get, in what area do we go about this cutting of the trees? Obviously not the planning board didn't have anything to do with it and can't take it into account. Yeah. Is there anywhere, when is Wendy? Wendy, is there anywhere, sorry, Wendy. Is there anywhere that we would go to say about this cutting of the trees? Is there some, it's obviously in a violation, but it's the state's land and the state doesn't care what's happening up here in Deerfield. So what do we do? What's that? And from what department? Yeah. Right, Which so it's department in the town. Does anyone know? Because it because it is a mass DOT and we all I don't know if we all know, but we've I'm had experience well with them that it's very difficult to get information from them sometimes and so I the contacts that we've had or I've had, they've not indicated that to me at all. They're just giving the same information you've all heard. Um, spending the new newspaper. So I I would recommend that we probably pursue this um, on an independent basis because the town really doesn't have much ability to get involved legally and that the lawyers listening to what the town lawyer says, he's really out to protect the planning board, make sure that they don't make a wrong decision based on some other information and I think it's going to need independent counsel is my recommendation to it and um, I'm here to support any help that area. As far as the waiting to hear from the engineers, it's great. It could be that there's no drainage and they can't get around the drainage, but most likely it will be a cost involved to solve the drainage problem. There will be a drainage problem, they'll solve it. The trees are already gone, no one cares. And so we have to go some other route as far as this goes. 
I don't know what route that would be, but it seems that the town's attorney is not um, involved, and that means independent counsel, and try to find some way to decide what does the town want, what is legal for the town to allow, and what can we do about this whole fiasco. Just thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Well said. You know when they're cleaning up the mess they made. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, if it's a, if you want to make a comment, I can either repeat it or you can uh, come up to the I mic. I didn't. I didn't hear you. Can I just say something about this microphone? They'll adjust it up if you give it a few seconds. So if you understand, they'll see you and then they'll turn that up. They've got adjustment depending on what people are speaking. Oh, I get it. I've never had a quiet voice. <laughs> I'm usually heard. My question is, they cut down the trees, supposedly somewhat illegally. Now they've created this mess that's at the end of the street. It's piled there. What violations are they doing by keeping that stuff there? Should they be getting rid of it? And when? What's your name, sir? Chester Saraseski. S-A-H. I think it's okay. written here. I've got it. So I, I guess I can just, because you're here, Wendy, is, is the select board looking into this at all, or, or any advice for private citizens? Uh, no, I don't give advice. I, <laughs> <laughs> I do, but I don't, not, not on something at this level. Yeah. Um, I don't want to put you on really the spot. I've, but, asked, yeah. I've spoken to Mass Thought a few times. I asked counsel on behalf of the planning board and, my, and our administrative office of select board uh, about uh, what role the town would have, and he uh, talked to the district office, several of you have talked with, and got the same information we've gotten, and then he called, and they directed him to general counsel in Boston, and when we caught up, he said, well, often they don't call back, but they did call him back, and basically said that they are looking at the value of the trees to see what kind of cost there would be for that. Uh, that still doesn't answer the questions I think that you brought up. So, mm -hmm. um, so that maybe we'll keep looking at it. That's all I can say. That we add to the value of the tree the opportunity for the planning board to have made this discrimination. Uh, uh, Is that a possibility? I would. Well, we we need to find out, and maybe Pat Smith or someone that. This 40, 40, 54, 61, that they should minimize the volume of cut and fill and removal of trees, that partly because of the dates that this whole thing started, that we could say they did, they did not minimize that. Um, so that's, we'll have to see if that's a, uh, something that the planning board has any say in or not. Yeah. I can't imagine that we have any authority off the property of the developer. That's just my. That maybe the planning board So we'll, yeah. Well, I, so we'll I think I, that. I yeah, I, I think that. That's, no, okay. we're just going to pursue what our what the options are. We don't, yeah. Yeah. Don't. We're not talking about. We're not making decisions. So. One. One more. <laughs> Sorry. One last no, thing. I'm trying to get us uh, back out to the hot again. night. You know. Um, oh. I just wanted to advocate that um, as the planning board, you know, pursues and looks into that that if they can also request, and when they talk with MassDOT, if you do, um, to replant mature trees back onto the state property. And um, Deerfield for Responsible Development will also be planning to go to the next select board meeting, and we will also be um, bringing it to their attention there as well. Thank you. Do you think maybe we could request that the traffic study be done with the trees in place, because that would affect the cars coming out of that park? So that's a, I mean, that's a great request to make to MassDOT. So. All right, so we will be back, um, what did we say? 
20th. September the 12th on a Wednesday no. night. August the 20th. Oh, well, we'll August we'll be 20th. Back for August 20th. But to continue this hearing, we need to do oh, that first. Um, sorry. So can we have a motion to continue this, the hearing on the proposed um, retail store at Mill Village to September 12th at 7 o'clock? Uh, I move it. I move it. Okay, there's a motion. Is there a second? I'll second. Rachel, second. Any discussion? Yep. Uh, Bruce Hunter again. Uh, I believe that part of your continuance requirements is that the a proponent signs and or agrees to go forward with a continuance. I know he's here tonight, the developer. I want to make sure that that document is signed and is part of the public record. Is, is your name Hunter or Hunter. with a T in the middle? Okay. Thank you. I do have a... Um, an email saying that they will sign that, so that's what we're that's what we're going on. But we do we, we do want it signed. So uh, Thank you. thanks. So the motion's uh, to continue the proposed meeting. and yeah. seconded. Any discussion? All those in favor? Is it seven o'clock? Seven o'clock on the okay. September yep. twelfth. Aye. Aye. In favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstain. One two three four okay. five zero zero. You got it. So thank you very much. Please inform people that it'll be a. September 12th is a Wednesday night, different night, 7 o'clock. We'll put it on the um, town website again and on our agenda that we post. Thanks for coming. Um, we can't find one, but... Uh, yeah, yes, we'll get it for you. Any other business before the board? Motion to adjourn? I move that we adjourn. Propose a motion to adjourn. All those in favor? Uh, yeah. Rachel and. We are adjourning. Thank you very much.